to Solar Power World Solar Speaks Live, powered by Unirac at Intersolar North America 2015. I'm Kelly Pickerel, Associate Editor of Solar Power World, and today I'm speaking with Ed May Kelsey, CEO of Solar Asset Management Software Provider 3 Megawatt. We're going to talk about solar asset management, especially compliance and reporting. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Of course. So first, can you provide us with a basic definition of asset management and what's all involved with that? Well, that's an interesting question because I think asset management has changed a lot in the last few years. Um, I think only four years ago people thought that asset management was just washing panels for solar. And since there are more and more assets that are coming online and are operational, people start to realize that it's not as easy as that and that there's a lot more work. And so I think there are four different levels in asset management. Uh, asset management typically is taking care of the physical assets. Um, that's what the basic definition of any type of asset management is. And so typically um, that's preventative maintenance that will be done by um, a, a maintainer, uh, like an installer or someone who's doing O&M. Uh, then you have a different role of people taking care of the entire site, uh, the solar site. So they will look into vegetation abatement, they will look into um, security, they will just look at over ground erosion, everything that has to do with the entire system. And then a level above it, uh, you have the what is now sort of uh, coined as an asset manager who will look over the O&M, making sure that they do their job, um, but also being very involved in the day-to-day -day operations and more from the financial side uh, than from the technical side. And so what the, the asset manager does today is uh, more of a commercial and a financial function to, to manage the assets, to make sure that the investor get this, the money uh, that they invested plus the returns that they're hoping for. Okay. So what challenges are asset managers facing today? Well, I think one of the challenges is that the, um, the project contracts are getting more and more complicated. And so, for instance, an example is if you're producing solar energy, you have to sell it. And initially, um, in some countries, it was done through a feed-in tariff, so people got a fixed rate. Then you had to find somebody that buys your electricity and the rates were changing. And now we're looking at PPAs that have um, an indexation or that have time of day. Um, and some people are actually starting to look into selling the electricity into electricity markets. And the challenge for the asset manager really is that um, you have a, a big billing function uh, that all of a sudden you, know, you need to do that people didn't need to do before. Uh, you have lots of different vendors, lots of interested parties that need to be managed. Um, and the financial structures are also getting a lot more complicated. The banks are getting more demanding. Um, so in general, it's, it's a lot more work. Yeah. It's interesting, um, but it is getting more and more complex. Okay. So what are the industry trends for compliance? So I think the ones that are really driving compliance are the yield costs. Okay. Why? Because they're publicly quoted, so they have to do um, you know, things according to what the SEC tells them and they're responsible, uh, responsible for making sure everything is done according to the book. Mm -hmm. And so there are different types of compliance. There's the contract compliance coming from the project contracts. Um, there's regulatory compliance, uh, environmental compliance, permit compliance. And so the trends there is that as there's more and more compliance um, that plants have to adhere to that you really have to track and make sure that these get done in time because the worst thing that could happen is if you get your permit revoked and all of a sudden you have to leave the land and have yeah. to take your solar panels with you I mean that wouldn't be so good <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> okay so how can asset managers address these issues how can they help well what asset managers need to do is they have to be extremely organized mm -hmm. and um, typically the asset management function is a very different function from the people that built the plant. So one of the things that we would recommend is that asset management is a different set of people with a different skill set. They're not running it as a project but they're running it as making sure that everything gets done in the right time and that nothing is forgotten. So asset managers typically are very detail oriented, very organized people and um, they also have very good communication skills because they have to interact with a lot of different people, you know, be it banks, be it investors, be it O&M. And, um, and um, so this is a whole new group of, of people coming to the market, to sell, you know, selling the services on a third party basis, 
or some people that they do it in-house and um, I think everybody is learning um, but it's interesting times. Okay, that's a little brief description of asset management and I want to thank Edme for talking with us today here at Solar Speaks Live at the Unirec booth at InterSolar North America 2015. Um, thanks for joining with us and come back for more interviews.